Have you ever thought a Pokemon is really ugly? Well, I'm going to check out a Rubber Ross video where they intentionally tried to create some ugly Pokemon. Let's check that out. Today on Penn Island, we're drawing Pokemon with our visitor, Alpha Rat. And if you enjoyed your visit, maybe consider subscribing. It really, really helps out. All right, boys. It does. It does really help out. Guys, don't forget to subscribe. It really does help out. Listen to Rubber Ross. Our first prompt is... What did Slowpoke just figure out? You, you, you come up with these physical, physical, god damn, philosophical questions. Yes, every time. Dude, str struggling with words is like the peak of the iceberg for me. I was really struggling with, um, legislate, legislate, the <laughs> legislation. What did Slowpoke just figure out? Um, I think Slowpoke just figured out that tic-tac-toe is a solved game. He was not aware of this strategy. Okay. I wanted to draw Caterpie today and I succeeded. Oh, oh no. Did you take a picture with your phone of your iPad? <laughs> yeah. I'm not logging on Discord on here. <laughs> Honestly based. Good. You know, I think, um, I think Slowpoke tried as hard as he could. <laughs> Look at that sad Caterpie. He looks like an apple. It's like he put an apple in on... I don't know, just like a couple peas, like a string of peas and then applin. That's what that looks like to me. He just figured out that it was a scam. Oh. Oh. Then maybe he oh. shouldn't have invested all that money oh. on his uh, Bored Ape uh, Slowpoke uh, Special Edition. Uh, I do like the Bored Ape Slowpoke though, I will say. that That's tough. I'm sure a lot of people have felt that over the last like year or so. And I do agree that Bored Ape Slowpoke is actually really, it's really well done because I'm ma imagining they did this in like 10 20 minutes yeah mine is kind of a two-parter okay because i didn't like the first drawing this is slowpoke trying to figure out how to use a kitchen aid wait it, it looks like his tail is like a knife <laughs> it, it's like okay I'm turning it, but I've got a knife behind my back. Twist. Oh, he's trying to pull it out. Yeah, so like, it's so weird. Uh, uh, no, wait, you don't twist and pull, you push. Ah! <laughs> he didn't even, he, he just broke it. <laughs> you have to eat. I don't even know how, like, how the kitchen aids work though, but like, I've, I've got some on my list, so maybe I'll learn eventually. <laughs> One Pokemon, which is it? What's your favorite Pokemon entry? Entry? You mean Dex uh, entry? Mine is Drampa's. So let, let's read the Dex entries from Sun and Moon so you get a feel for him. He's a nice little friendly dragon. It has compassionate personality, but if it's angered, it completely destroys its surroundings with its intense breath. This Pokemon is friendly to people and loves children most of all. It comes from deep in the mountains to play with children it likes in town. So you, you kind of see the vibe, like he likes caring for the children of the nearby village. But okay. In the next game, he takes it up a notch. If a child has made friends with it and that child is bullied, Drampa will find the bully's house and burn it to the ground. <laughs> this sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah. He sounds tight. I think my favorite entry was the one about Lapras being extinct. So that kid released a, a lot of like Lapras because he wanted to- Yeah, I think that's such a cute story too. That's like the cutest story. And then they changed it. it. said, due to conservation efforts, they are like less endangered now. And I was like, oh, that's wholesome. I'll go first. And I'm sorry in advance for my shitty joke, but here it is. You little- <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I feel like I need to go next. Okay, what's yours? <laughs> Come on, man! <laughs> 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 I'm just gonna skip past this one. <laughs> Jacob, let's see, let's let's see yours. I don't even know how you would, how would you eat that? I could see that it's like a klefki, but it literally looks like like a dinner plate, and then there's just this like one little thing on it, like I don't know what it's like a pea or maybe like um, maybe like ghost in a jar. It's like I maybe a baby would eat that. I guess a baby would suck on it, like a fake toy game. I refuse to elaborate further. Draw your favorite Pokemon <laughs> with unsettling human features. Oh. I told you about, like, my favorite Pokemon used to be Gengar. Oh, I love have Gengar. Gengar. That's, a That's a good one. That's a good favorite Pokemon. I, I love, have I told you about my uh, bad Gengar story? No. No. I mean, clearly not me, but. A really good friend of mine gave me a really cool Gengar shirt to wear. It's like purple with Gengar on it and, uh -huh. and stuff. 
and I was so excited I ran to the bathroom to try it on and I dropped it in the toilet. Ow. What? So what? 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 What do you mean you dropped it in the toilet? How many shirts are you dropping in the toilet? Like, I, I really like the shirt, so I still wore it. Wait, even though you dropped in the you, you washed it first, right? It, it doesn't sound like you washed it. <laughs> Wait, so you put on a wet toilet shirt? Yeah. Did you tell anyone why you were wearing a wet toilet shirt? I just said I, I, I splashed myself when I tried to wash my hands. And got the whole... But the whole shirt would be... Done. No, okay, real talk. When I was a kid, I loved Gardevoir. When I grew up, I found out that she was really sexualized, and I was, like, shocked. Because I, I never even saw, like, feminine qualities in her. I thought she was, like, a weird little alien with, like, her little green helmet. Like, mm -hmm. I, I understood, like, yeah. the femininity of, like... The yeah, she's like Marvin Martian, right? She's got his uh, Roman centurion helmet that looks more like he used to brush a floor. The, the cloth <laughs> and the dress and everything. But I, I was shocked when I grew up and learned that people gave me weird looks when I said my favorite Pokemon was Gardevoir. Oh. It doesn't stop there for you. We've had this discussion. No, no, I've, I'm pretty cursed. Yeah, uh, go on and explain what, what I'm about. Vaporeon became my favorite, and you've oh, seen the copy no! pasta. Yeah, oh, it's no. like as soon as I started talking about like how I like Vaporeon, it, it's over, man. Here, yeah. watch this. Hey, Jacob, what's your favorite Animal Crossing character? Anka. Hey, Jacob, what's your favorite Final Fantasy VII character? Tifa Lockhart. <laughs> oh. So I was complaining about this to Jaden. I feel like he just knows what he likes. Uh, you know, I'll I'll lead again. Okay. Wow. Just the, oh, so the, the thing is just one giant ear? <laughs> just one giant ear. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Absol, awesome. No way. He's a furry f for this. Oh, do you get accused of being a furry a lot? I don't get it. It stays on all fours, and I feel like that should be safe. I don't get that one. Uh, I had a video where I ranked all my poke favorite Pokemon, and I had, like, Absol and Vaporeon up there, and Pokemon Challenges looked at it and was like, come on, dude. Like, looked in the camera and everything, and I was like... <laughs> I just like the, the all of my favorite Pokemon say on all fours except Gardevoir, and you know what? I'll take the flack for that one. I don't feel like we talked about the Absol with the giant ear enough. Uh, I I guess he can really hear those impending disasters now. Oh brother, this guy stinks! As in advance, this is probably the worst thing I've ever drawn. Oh. Uh. <laughs> so do you like that? I. <laughs> I oh, oh, oh my eyes. Oh, the, the, the fingers, the, oh, man. Oh, that's really hard to look at. Oh, the finger cannons. The... <laughs> the cannons nope. It was just giant finger. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. That's... <laughs> Gosh, that, that's living on, like, like guy cursed images. In Comic -Con. Like, <laughs> it's mm. really scary. <laughs> okay, oh. done. Oh, that's gonna live rent free in my head in my nightmares. Junos Pass, my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> no, what? Wait, so explain this, Don. Explain it to me. Nose Pass, he's up there. Okay. With the with the realistic nose. Uh, uh, doesn't he already have a? Re Fun fact about Nose Pass, he always points north. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's really cute. Honestly, I'll be I'm gonna be with you guys. I got carried away. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the, the can we just zoom in on that nose, Noah? The <laughs> rendering is absolutely just beautiful. The pores. Let's our next prompt is what is your nightmare Pokemon blunt rotation? Oh my god. Yeah. What, what is the worst Pokemon blunt rotation? Like imaginable. I don't understand what this question means. Um so I'm very interested to see what the answers are drawings are i mean i have some choices who are just like i don't like this guy but there are some where i'm just like this dude probably can't hang around schools you know it's not just like oh i don't want to hit a blunt with like mewtwo or something because like in reality i probably would the response about things not being near schools i i'm very worried for what these drawings are about to come out for I feel like Mewtwo would have some interesting philosophy that you could argue with him about whilst doing, and I feel like that yeah. would in itself would be enjoyable. I would actually put him in dream rotation, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I would put like Alakazam in there, because that dude has a canonical IQ of 5,000. That 
would be like talking to a bunch of like hundreds of I Albert Einsteins all at once. Yeah, so I would love to know what he does. Uh, I think that stems from like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, but what I think is so funny is that like they have a little bulletin board on like, oh yeah, Alakazam. He knows the history of everything that's ever happened and everything that ever will. He has an IQ of 5,000 and he's friends with Charizard. Wait, <laughs> that he's just by default friends with any Charizard? I don't know, just like maybe his specific Charizard, but oh. it was just like worth noting on equal footing. Honestly, if someone was friends with Charizard, I would expect them to drop his name at any given opportunity. My nightmare blunt rotation. Let's see it. <laughs> okay, wait, <laughs> who's who here? Okay, um, so I see Hypno. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a Wobbuffet on the left. I. The one, like, the middle right literally looks like, like, Electro, uh, from Spider-Man. So, I think maybe it's Incineroar, actually. <laughs> and I don't know what that, that left one is. Maybe, like, Muck? Explain. That's, um, we have, from left to right, we have Wobbuffet, <laughs> okay. Gumshoes, Incineroar. Oh, that's Gumshoes. <laughs> okay. Incineroar and Hypno, yeah. Okay, I got three out of four. These guys would be the worst. What is your pitch? So, one, Hypno is a f as far as I'm concerned. Yes. Yeah. Don't yeah. want to be around him. Wobbuffet. They bleep that word, but I know exactly what they're saying. I feel like we all agree he's just a little bit too weird. I, I just don't trust him on any substance. Like, I barely trust him as, as stands, but, like, put any chemical involved in that very, uh, too much. Uh, Gumshoes, he's just kind of based on Trump. So when I needed like a fourth one, it felt pretty easy to make a decision while scrolling through a Pokedex. And then Incineroar <laughs> is like, if you know anything about competitive Pokemon, he's just not a trustworthy guy. And I feel like he's let a lot of that popularity get to his head. And it's just oh. like, you don't want to be around someone like that who just wants to talk about themselves. Yeah, he's got a big <laughs> ego. Yeah. I feel like Wolfa would be kind of an ideal blunt uh, uh, partner. Because he could just use Destiny Bond on you and you'll get twice as high. <laughs> that's so stupid. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think that's how that I don't, works. Yeah, I don't know how that works. Isn't that like death? Isn't that you both die, right? <clears throat> that would be correct, yeah. Honestly, like I think him having Destiny Bond is the reason you don't... Okay, hear me out. He also has Shadow Tag, which means you can't escape. If you ever have just like a really bad trip, you oh, really no. want to like have him in the rotation. Not rotation, but you see what I'm saying. He's a guy you have the awkward conversation with, and then you just can find no way out of the conversation, and you're just stuck yep. listening. Yeah. Yep. Uh, here's That's pretty mine. terrifying. And this is just kind of based loosely on things being grody, and also I think I remember it being a very bad situation. So uh, we've got... I mean... Okay, so so, so what's this? It? Ghost and Parasite. Is that correct? That's how you say it. Like, if you oh, if they open up the zipper, right? Doesn't like something really bad happen? I remember hearing that. Uh, strong feelings of hatred turned a puppet into a Pokemon. If it opens its mouth, its curse energy escapes. Oh. Okay. So. Which is crucial for the blunt. Yeah. So that's pretty. No, I wouldn't want that around at all. You're mm -hmm. guaranteeing curse energy in your rotation. And then we've got Yamask, who I'm pretty sure is like collects the. Isn't it like the souls of the dead? or something like that i, I feel something. like something like that and then we got shed ninja which is just like a dead bug i really wouldn't want to share that and then we've got parasect which is literally a bug with an he's actually like really hitting a very similar theme like especially shed ninja like if you look into the hole on his back i'm pretty sure like your soul gets sucked out and then parasect is just like a zombie uh because it's uh like a crab that's been taken over by the fungus living on its back it's hitting like a real similar theme on all of them. Infectious mushroom on that, and I feel like that would be a really bad thing to share because you probably get a spore in your body and it'd probably mm -hmm. take over yeah. yours. I like, would yeah. up with the with the souls of the past though. So like that's where you and I are different. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> who we, we've done? Let's see yours. Okay. <laughs> the Squirtle. Squirtle. The Squirtle. <laughs> yeah, the squirtle why? Squirtle. They're so cool. Oh, you will find out. You will find out. You know why? Why? Because they're selfish. Because they're selfish. Check it out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> so for our final Perfect. prompt of the day, Gengar is a wandering spirit. What must he do to move on to the next life? I didn't know Gengar was your favorite Pokemon, by the way. So I'm happy that I uh, had him as a prompt. He is. You didn't? Didn't you just say he's one of your favorites? Yeah, he is. 
You're right. Oh. <laughs> Why did you stutter that? Um, so the thing he found to move on to the next life was um, Christ. Oh, oh, that's a good dude. guy. Oh. That's the greatest Pokemon of all. That's the very first Pokemon. I like Gengar's like facial hair or body hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a really good question. Uh, is it is it both? Is it facial hair and body hair? Because of where his like his face is like his entire body. Oh, uh, but yeah, it looks really good. It looked like Soyjack without the facial hair, so I had no, to no, add it. Right. Well, funny, like, it is kind of like a whole body beard. It's a whole body beard, yeah. exactly. My Gengar, he's he's very, he just wants something. He just wants something simple before he he passes on. <laughs> I desire nothing more, and I will cease to exist. Is he? He just pushed over a baby. <laughs> okay. You were just pushing over a baby. And the pretty mischievous guy. Also, I just like how he's crying about it as he like Back to the Future evaporates in a dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> Those look like tears of happiness. They really do. It's uh, amazing. Um, Jacob, let's see here. I think the best way to. Uh, carry into a new life is to just end your current one and start over fresh well if it used destiny bond uh-oh on to the next one <coughs> oh, man. <laughs> that's a horrible way to go i say either that or by breathe that that well that looks like a water balloon that they didn't quite get tied off right <laughs> it's just like hey creating a new life you know what? <laughs> oh. Wait, so he becomes a ditto? Incarnated. As a ditto. I think you missed the joke. No, explain the joke. He's gonna f Okay, so, um, yeah, they did a great job showing off some, uh, very ugly Pokemon and some really fantastic drawings. So, if you want to, you can subscribe to, uh, Rubber Ross. Um, I'll have his channel linked in the description down below and also the original video. And if you like this video, you can check out some of the other videos I've reacted to right up here.